Hello ladies and gentlemen you are now entering the house of renowned poet Melanie Knapp. On certain days of the week she opens her doors to display her exhibits of art and poetry in her home. No. You don't understand yet her works are from different periods of time. Some that haven't been previously learned about. Yes. Museum patrons Melanie Knapp is related to Superman and to Babe the Pig. She's related to frozen peas and to fried onions. Maybe most of all she's related to and of Green Gables. You'll find to your right as you enter the door a keyboard that was bought in the year 2000.00. It still appears to be modern and she has played it for patrons in an antique store. You'll find to the left an old chair. It's been noted that Melanie can't sit in this chair. She has tried many times but the chair won't allow it. So it's only her mysterious and mystical guests that sit in the chair. Rarely has a real person sat in the chair, and yet many many people have sat in the chair. She used to fight to find a way to sit in it. But over time she had almost given up. In fact sometimes it's hard for her to have a place to sit. Somehow it seems like others are invited and not her. We are proud to say that there is a picture that she drew by the chair that brings great peace. It is a branch from the shore area, where she drew with a class of drawing students and sketched in pencil. Further along there is a picture of the Chi Chi Mon. This big boat has loved Melanie for many years. She is able to talk to it sometimes. They converse about how things are going and who needs help and how the waters are. And what the sunshine is like and how they are both important to the town. She loves the way the boat has pictures on it of such colorful indigenous art. Near the boat is a different museum. At that museum is a whistle, and in early evening the whistle blows in the town to signify the end of the day. It is a unique thing for a town to have a whistle that blows at the end of the workday. Many times Melanie has been walking by as the whistle blows it is so loud when you are up close, and she has had to stop in her tracks and check her heart a couple times. Melanie knows work in this town. She put in many 14 hours days with children and the programming and the staff development when she was a young adult. You can see in some of her drawings which we next eno under some swirling circles of colors that are playful and childlike. As we round the corner we see some different types of art. These are called some joyful of expression of life in many forms. There are waters and trees and buildings and flowers and a milkweed which attracted the butterflies this past year. You may want to take a moment to reflect. You may have some thoughts and feelings when you see this art. You may realize her great interest in the land and waters in this area. Her collection on this wall has many stories to it. See if you can think of what some of those stories might be as you look at the art. A newspaper clipping greets us next stating in bold letters embracing the poser of poetry. Here a full page of newspaper is full of poems to celebrate the life of poetry and its joy and ability to shine some light on situations. Her poems are said to be very joyful and uplifting, but in her compassion she wanted people to respond with actions of helpfulness to others, the environment, to less fortunate people, to seniors, to those with little to hope f4. Her messages seemed silly and cute and positive, but there was an important plea at times for people to do something to build worth, education, homes, diversity, and more. In this clipping she stands proudly hugging a tree. She used to think the trees were all out west, but now she understands the trees are all over the place, and here in the Georgian Bay are wonderful trees. Her window ledge has many trinkets, and some would work that she received when she helped many people. It was a show of respect for her work, and has had a grounding effect on her apartment, and yet adds to the flair and design of the museum. On the south wall there is a wonderful quilted piece of material with the animals of great spirit, and the caring shows that they have taken in showing themselves in the outdoor world over her years. Melanie was always very good at sighting animals. Although it is interesting she has rarely seen a deer. A zebra stands next. It is a mystical and pretty zebra. It is said that this zebra is a thank you poster for her and her sometimes childlike angels that have tried to help others and made mistakes and created some wonderful miracles along the way. Next is pictures of trees with a poem in the middle. The pictures are a trademark of Melanie's. They are a symbol she often uses 
and that is sunshine coming through trees. She does like the silver lining of sun coming through clouds, but her most common pictures that cheer her on is sunshine coming through trees. It is bright and you can see the rays of the sun, and you can see the trees looking important as the sun comes through but best of all it is a wonderful design of trees and light and bright sky that brings a smile of nostalgia to the onlooker. As we go further along we see a picture of the middle-aged woman at Painter's Bay. Her humorous musical side is being portrayed as she holds her arm up and the waves crash into the shore behind her. It looks as though she is conducting an orchestra. That's as far as I can take you today. Please come back another day to see more of the museum. She would like you to buy two small postcards artistic pictures as you leave to show your politeness and respect. One of these she invites you to keep for your own liking, and the others she invites you to give to someone you see as you walk down the street. It could be a teenager, an adult, or a senior. It could be a native woman, an Italian chef, or a young traveler. It could be a talkative person, or a quiet person. It could be a tall, short, big or thin person. Give it to someone different than who you would normally give it to and do bless them with a nature greeting or a God bless greeting. Thank for coming to the Museum of Hope, Color and Harmony and please enjoy the fresh air as you leave. Please give a little comment to the trees as you leave so that they will feel the energy of your gratitude or appreciation or interest in the museum. The trees are great friends of the museum. Once again thanks for coming and remember try and make someone else's day just a little bit brighter as Melanie often says. Choose to show love to other people, and then choose it again and again. Eventually it will get easier to show love more often. Thanks for coming. Please sign the guest book on your way out with your favorite word or reflection after seeing the art. Thanks for coming. Goodbye. Oh and as you leave feel free to join the sit-in by the big spruce, where we are peacefully showing that trees need our company, trees need our communications, trees need our appreciation. Melanie feels that by having a peaceful sit in the trees will then show their great helpfulness towards the way people and children can live. They will also help the environment in more beneficial ways once appreciated. As you sit don't be afraid to put your hand on your heart and feel your own sense of yourself. God bless.